and, and you mentioned your, your mum and dad are in the audience, so a big warm welcome to both of you. <laughs> <laughs> Loving the limelight, as you can see, don't come to me. Um, <laughs> we, we haven't seen you for a year now, Diane. How are you? I'm really good, thank you. Yeah, I, I had some surgery last year after this show, a couple of months after being on this show. Everything went well, and good. as far as I know, touch wood. Touch I've, wood. Yeah. <laughs> good, good. And, and David, how are you coping with all of this? Because it's, it's quite a normal thing, if you like, for sort of mums and daughters to share experiences, but we don't often hear from the dads. I think initially I was just very angry that someone could do this and mm. ruin your life in just one foul swoop like that. Yeah. Mm. But, you know, anger is very negative. You, in, when you're trying to nurse someone who's traumatised, you need positivity and you need humour. You will never get through it otherwise. Mm. Yeah. And now I just am amazed at Katie. I know it, it's, she's my daughter and I shouldn't praise her up, but I just can't understand <laughs> how. That is such a dad she's thing done. to say. That is well, such a dad thing to I say. I can't understand how she's done what she's yeah. done, because if you could have seen the state of her initially, and when she told me just recently she's going to do a one-man show which opens in our hometown next week, I thought, I can't believe you're doing this because <laughs> I always was so worried afterwards. How would she make a living? What would she do? Yeah. She was blind in one eye, she couldn't swallow food, most of her face was gone. You know, I can remember a point when I actually thought, do I want her to live? It looked that bad. Yeah. Is she going to stick any of your jokes? <laughs> yeah. I've got to ask you about her one-woman show. Have you been... You could, script writer. Obviously, I'm it's your humour that got her through before. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you are always the joker at home, aren't you? And we, and we did laugh about things that, like you said, if we hadn't laughed, we'd cry. needed humour. Yeah. yeah. You and know, when you're so shocked, you know, even something very small, which you wouldn't even normally laugh at, can actually brighten your day up, and you have to focus on all the positive bits, not the negative. You, anyone can focus on the negative bits. Mm. It's mm. got to be the positive to get so you out true. of it. Yeah. Mm. But yeah. she is an amazing person, the way she's turned she it around. Is. Oh, she is. She is. Well, she is. <laughs> I think, um, although, you know, the book's called Mother to Daughter, I think, yeah. you know, my mum couldn't be the mum she is without my dad's support. And yeah. it's the same for me with my husband, you know, having a career, having two children. It's the men in our lives that help us be the women we are. It's so. true. Yeah. It's true. And how, how are you gorgeous girls? How, how old is Penelope? Penelope is going to be three months wow. uh, next week. Oh. Yeah, so she's coming on tour with me, waiting in the wings in the theatre. Oh. Um, <laughs> and Belle, it's Belle's birthday on... Uh, when uh, Belle's going to be four on the 14th and Penelope's three months on the 13th. Wow, you so. have got your hands full. Oh, yeah. Yeah, wow. yeah. Wow. Fair, fair play for being up, dressed, made up, and it's <laughs> not even two o'clock in the afternoon. Oh, yeah. You're oh, doing so well. Oh, yeah. And um, the book is out now from Mother to Daughter, the things I'd tell my child to lovely Katie Piper. Thank you so much.